Hey guys, and welcome back to Guys of Arcadia. When we last left off, apparently the Valuants have attacked. <clears throat> and uh, unfortunately, they're going to be after that spiffy blue crystal that we discovered in the last episode. Now, it does appear to be a traitor in the midst, so we're going to have to see what we can do about that. Anyway... After Chad Thundercock, otherwise known as Enrique, defended uh, Mogi, whatever she's called, defended her honor, <clears throat> and seems to have caused a little bit of uh, trouble for this place. Right, I guess we're going to go back to the ship that should be docked, the Delphinus. And, uh,. If you thought, gee, maybe we're going to be fighting the Blue Gigas soon, uh, you'd probably be right. Because <clears throat> if we know anything about the Valuans, they like to stir up the Gigas. Oh, there's a couple of them. No! Bell and Vigorio? Well, well, well. Hello there, handsome. Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Red. Looks like fate has brought us together again. Ah. Oh, no. What's he doing here? Look at that shit-eating grin. It's so cute how she pretends that she doesn't want me. Ugh. Come aboard my ship. Maybe the two of us can rock the... Oh, good God. Rock the boat. Oof. Vigoro, please. We're in the presence of Plinz Enrique. Prince Enrique, I trust you're in good health. If you're wondering how we got here, we blasted a hole in the stone reef near Ixataka and travelled west. Our goal is the same, my prince. We also seek the blue crystal. What? Well, you plan to burn down Yafutoma as well? Relax, handsome. As I told you before, I'm against unnecessary destruction. We have no intention in fighting with you. We are merely planning to dock and speak with the king of these lands. You're wasting your time. King Mikado, Mikado is a honorable man. There's no way he would strike a deal with the value in Amada. We'll see about that. Everybody has their limits, their codes, their morals, but everybody also has a weakness. And if you find that weakness and exploit it, those limits, codes, and morals seem to fade away. I'd love to chat longer, but I have an appointment with the king. Stay out of our way. Ugh. Well, if it was up to me, I'd put those two to the gallows, but there we go. Hey, shouldn't we stop them? Ugh. Well, we kind of out of our depth here, so we're going to wait and see what happens. Sorry, but there's nothing we can do right now. There's no way we can take on all of these soldiers. We can't even get to the Delphinus right now. Bells and Vigorio are here as Imperial representatives. Attacking them during a diplomatic meeting would make us criminals. Let's return to our quarters. There we will wait until they have concluded their talks. Yeah, that's kind of all we can do at the moment. No, I will never let the Valuans occupy Yifatoma. But King Makaido, you do realize that your country's pitiful army wouldn't last a day against the Amada. To prevent unnecessary bloodshed, I recommend that you surrender. We will never surrender. We will never hand Yofotoma over to a band of bloodthirsty warlords like yourselves. We are protected by the Blue Moon. In the past, whenever our country was threatened, the Blue Winds came to our aid and saved our lands. If you attack us, the winds will blow you into the Dark Rift. Valuer will never occupy Yofotoma. Do you hear me? Never! I'm sorry you didn't see things our way. It appears that this meeting is at an end. 
Then I will gain possession of Yufatoma by my own means. What sort of treachery is this? Hmm. <laughs> if you do not keep quiet, you'll be a head shorter. Oh, what a dick. <laughs> Maraji, you traitor. Kangan. Belzia. In accordance with our meeting last night, this country will fall under the rule of the Valuant Empire. <gasps> Kangan, what are you saying? King Mikado, as Lady Belzea stated, we have no hope of winning a war against Valua. To save our people, we will usurp power and assume our roles as leaders of Yafutuma. Dog. Wow. Belzea, I'm glad we're both on the same side. Don't relax yet, big guy. Not whilst the kid's still around. Yeah. Dirty. Filthy underhanded tactics. Not exactly anything to be proud of. Take King uh, Mikado prisoner and find those air pirates. Yeah, sorry, we're just going to be out the back burning your armada to the ground. Uh, but we need our ship, though. Oh, this is our quarters. It seems like they've been talking forever. Well, you know how formal these diplomatic talks are. It takes forever to, for them to decide who gets to sit down first. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Everybody, quickly, you must get out of here. Princess Mo Mogi? What happened? Kangan and uh, Miraja betrayed us. My father has been taken prisoner. It was Belzea's doing. What? It's like, <gasps> no. Bell, it figures. She probably met with those two before the meeting and had the whole thing planned out, obviously. Faze, what should we do? Um, well, counter to what we should be doing, uh, we kind of have to run and hide, I think. Yes. I'm sorry, but we have to run for now. Belzia probably already convinced the Yafatoman guards that we are criminals. I agree. We should run for now and figure out what to do next. Very well then. Quickly, follow me. Secret passage. Smart. We can escape the palace this way. Hurry. I guess she's coming with us. Cool. Right, well, this is a little bit awkward now, isn't it? Do we have anything down here? Nice if I could see. Ah, this is the chest, yeah. Here we got some crystals times four. Nice. We'll take them. Right, let's get out of here. Let's see if we can get our ship back. Oh, hello. Where's this? Nice to have a sneaky little exit. Um. Oh, it's a ship. <laughs> wow. Cool. Wow, incredible. I can't believe how high we are. Yeah, the powers of the blue moon are amazing. We will be safe here. It's great that we escape from the guards, but... Now what do we do? There is an ancient temple on a small island to the north. My brother, Daigo, should be there. What? You you have a brother? Keep up, Ica. Seriously. Yes. yes. He is the true heir to the throne. A long time ago, my brother directly disobeyed my father's orders. He was exiled from Yafutoma and sentenced to live on the island. Marooning him on an island was kind of harsh, don't you think? My brother had a tendency to go out sailing on his own and disregard his duties as prince. But I don't think that my father should have disowned him. I think that Miraje and Kangan convinced my father to exile him. With my brother out of the way, they had a chance of taking over Yafutoma. 
That makes sense. Vase, it looks like we have no other choice. It looks like we're going to have to rely on Daigo. Yeah. Princess uh, Mogi, do not worry. We will save, other, uh, save the people of Yefutoma and your father. Prince Enrique, thank you. You can reach my brother's island by heading north from here. So, we've got our own little high floaty ship. Interesting. first we're up in the clouds fancy so I believe this is another little dungeon and by little dungeon I mean probably not that little uh, let me drag up some notes here I can't remember if there's actually much here to find um so Let's have a look. I, I can't remember, actually. I'm pretty sure. We don't have to worry about too much. Uh, moonfish, moonfish, moonfish. Do you have any moonfish? Uh, apparently we do. Okay. So we've got... Moonfish. Let's see, actually. What do they actually call this? Is this Exile Island? Uh, it doesn't actually tell us where we are, does it? That's a bugger. Oh, well, let's explore, shall we? We can worry about that stuff later on. Now, I'm... Yeah, well, there might not actually be any combat here. Although... Yeah, well, I mean, I guess I should stop talking. So what are we fighting here? These are going to be... Ooh. Ah, we're fighting these guys. Seems a little bit harsh to slaughter these chaps, but slaughter them we will. Little bit savage. They're actually surprisingly tough as well. Uh, you know what? Let's just go for a Mega Cyclone. You would have thought a Mega Cyclone would be at the bottom because it's the last move that we actually technically unlock, but hey, what do I know, I suppose? Uh... Here goes. Right. Now, whilst this is playing out, are there any chance to find? I'm guessing there might be. Uh, yeah, apparently there is. Okay. Ooh, that doesn't quite kill them all. Okay, I was expecting more from that Mega Cyclone, I'm going to be honest. It does seem to be better than um, Lambada Burst, but yeah, it leaves a little bit to be desired. Okay. Let's keep exploring. Keep searching. You never know where they might hide a sneaky chest, and we do need to get all of... Ooh. Oh. I guess that one was easy to find. Barely worth looking up, to be honest. Uh, right, let's feed the cham. Oh, we got two chams. Okay, cool. Well, the more the merrier, I suppose. Now, the moonfish, I think, is a little bit further on. It's like we're just going to be fighting these guys. Uh, and we can't use... No, we can't. Actually... Uh, is it worth using... That? Maybe. Maybe it is. But we'll use it with... Oof. 
we'll use it with our magic water because that makes more sense. Let's see how powerful this is. Ooh. Incrementing himself. Yeah, that's pretty good actually. Considering. Considering it's just a, spe a spell and not a super move, that's not actually too bad. I hope he doesn't mind us killing all of his men. But, you know. And we're getting lots of health crystals as well, which, you yeah, know. Throw them on the pile. The more the merrier. Now, let me just double check where it said that. Uh, Chris, that uh, moonfish one. I tell you what, it pays to have notes. It really does. Um. So. Right. Okay. Apparently, it's quite easy to get to. Oh, hello. More combat. God damn it. Seriously, guys. I suppose it is nice to have an excuse to use some magic for once. Beautiful. Man, that is pretty devastating. It does seem to do about as much damage as Ica's, like ultimate ability, which is... I don't know whether that means the spell's really good, or if that's really sad. And these guys are healing themselves. Which is not cool. Really not cool. And looks like I'm running out of time as well. Might have to make this one a bit of a short episode. Uh, ooh. There's something written here in Euphotoman. It's probably the name of the shrine, if it is a shrine. Well, I'm sure it's a shrine. It seems to be very shrine-like. I know lots of things about shrines. Apparently. Ah, those two Westerners. It appears that we meet again. Ah, oh, not them again. What are you doing here? This is the headquarters. Of the Tenku. It was very foolish for you to come here. Time has come. For, you to die. <laughs> for us to finish you, even though the voice said for you to die. Halt! Oof. Jiao, Mao, who's there? Lord Daigo. These are the Westerners that dared to defy us. They came through the Dark Rift. I'm Vase of the Blue Rogues. You're the leader of the Tenku? Dago! What? He's your brother? Keep up, guys! Come on, this isn't fucking, I don't know, Shakespeare or something, or what would be really complicated. I don't know. But this is a fairly simple plot to follow. Huh? This pr is Prince Dago? Mogai, how have you been? I never would have thought that you would bring foreigners to my temple. I never thought I would either. But what are the Tengu doing here? A long time ago, the twins challenged me to a fight. They wanted my sword, so I beat them senseless. Yeah, it seems to happen a lot to them. And for some strange reason, they pledged their loyalty to me. I've been their leader ever since. And I figured, as their leader, I could control them a little, so they'd stop attacking everyone. <laughs> Besides, who else do you know that has twin bodyguards? Eh, okay. Is he your, really your brother? Hard to imagine the two of you are related. I know he's a prince, like Enrique, but it seems that princess, that princes in Yafitoma act differently than princes in Valua. But what is the purpose of a visit, Mogi? Has father changed his mind? There I go, he... What's wrong? Did something happen to him? Yeah, kind of. K 
Kangan, that little runt. How could he backstab our father and hand our country over to the Valiants? Daigo. Bogey, I'm sorry. If I was still there, this never would have happened. When I was exiled, I welcomed the freedom. I disregarded all of my duties and did whatever I wanted. Here in this temple. But now, my people need me. I must go back there and reclaim my title as Prince of Yafatoma. Good man. Vase, I can't thank you enough for saving my sister. Now, I must get ready for battle. I will fight against Valua and give Yafatoma back to the people. I would be honoured if you'd fight alongside me. Um, yes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Of course we'll help. We share the same enemy. Excellent! We will fight together and reclaim the Afutoma and the Megasphere, or the Magasphere. Also, Lord Enrique, I hear that you defended my sister from Maraja. Or whatever. My family thanks you for your bravery. I did only what was expected of a gentleman. The fuck. Fuck off. <laughs> fuck right off of your bullshit, Enrique. Think nothing of it. Jesus. <laughs> and Prince Daigo, I know. <laughs> oh, it's such a twat. <sighs> Compose yourself. Uh, and Prince Daigo, I know how you feel. I too have been exiled from my lands. <laughs> Oh, Enrique, you're such a ballad. I wish to change the views of my country by changing the world around it. And that is why I wish to aid you, from one exiled prince to another. Oh, he's going to start crying in a minute, isn't he? Also, the fleet that you're about to face, the Amada, was sent here by my mother, Empress Theodora. As a valuing prince, it is my duty to stop them. It is not only your battle it is mine as well yeah all right enough of the speech i understand i will gladly accept your aid prince enrique you're a very noble man much more honor noble than i if a man such as yourself were to be at my sister's side i oh piss off i would sleep well at night um uh... I, I, I don't, don't pretend man don't pretend you've puffed your chest out been peacocking all night jesus there I go. And from the looks of it, the two of you wouldn't mind either. <laughs> yeah, he knows. He knows. <laughs> yes, let's all laugh at the... <sighs> laugh at their expense. Now then, Vase, I need to prepare for the battle. Meet me at the port. We will depart from Yafatoma as soon as you're ready. Uh, unfortunately, that's probably going to have to wait for the next video. I know it's a little bit of a short video, but I need to go out because I have an appointment and the opticians. Oh, yeah. So this is where our... Um, fish is some... Ah, there he is. It's finally getting new glasses for the first time in five years. Although it is astonishing how much a pair of glasses cost. Ah, I think we actually have to go inside the temple, maybe. Anyway, we'll sort him out in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.